Welcome to another episode of Spoken Word, and I am Tara Lynn Hart, and I am so honored to have a special guest. Tsing Toki from Bungtang. Bungtang. Okay, yes. and so what language is it that you speak? Uh, what is your uh, native language there? Uh, we speak Bungtang. So Bungtang is a native language of uh, Bungtang. Oh, great, yeah. great. So what is a person who speaks that language called? What do you guys uh, call each other? We another call, person we who call speaks? them Bungtapa. Bungtapa. Yeah. And that seems to be in a lot of languages in, in the Himalayas that you have a pa. Yes, so pa, pa, yes, yeah, pa, yeah. Pa. yeah, yeah, it's the people who speak yeah. that, yeah, pa, pa. Um, And so, uh, where exactly, if you had to explain to someone that's never been to Bhutan, where is Bhutan? Bhutan, it's actually located in the central part of Bhutan. Uh, I think it's uh, approximately almost like a, uh, a day drive. Okay, uh, okay. You start from uh, big mountains. Uh, uh, initially, like uh, we'll have to pass, like uh, we have to cross uh, three passes, mm. so which uh, it's, which is at the height of like uh, four thousand and above. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've heard it's kind of like Switzerland. Yeah. That's what a lot of my students have so, told me. Anyway, uh, it's quite risky during winter days because ah. of all the roads it get icy and right. it's slippery. We have to. So not maybe finish. the best time in January is not always the best time. Uh, especially during winter days. Yeah. People don't prefer. Might be kind of chilly. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, I guess what what is a common greeting? Uh, do you guys say hello, or would you just say like, uh, it's a, "How have you been?" Yeah, or what would people say? So, a bit in Zongka or a Changla and any languages, the common greeting it's "Kuzhangpo." Okay, okay, so that's basically the Zongka hello. Over the Bhutan, yeah. uh, did they say something though? Because I know when I interviewed some of the other language groups, they said in their language they don't really. They would say Kuzuzongbo if they just want to say hi, but a lot of times they'll just start with like, you know, have you eaten or how have you been doing or what's up? Yeah. Do you so, have something like that? Uh, we, we do say like, a, uh, so if I uh, ask like, how are you, how you have been, like, we, we just go and if we suddenly encounter a Bumdab friend, so we just say Kuzuzongbo, Adonikpe, Kajanda Naga. What does that mean? So it means how you have been, hope you're good. Oh, so let's just isolate that then. Uh, so what is the word for you? Wit. We say wit. Wit. Yeah. That means you. You. Okay. And then um, how would you say how are you? Uh, how are you? Wit adunaki. Uh, what's that? Wit adunaki. Adunaki. Okay. So you how are. It's kind yeah, of no, good in the uh, word order. It's, it's like, uh, because like if you do a direct translation, then it will be ups and downs. Because like, uh, <laughs> like, the like, the, like the like the roads in Bumpong, ups yeah. and downs. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, uh, we don't have any, if we, like, uh, we have to bring the sequence. So mm. if we do a direct translation, the, every language, it sounds funny. Like, it does yeah. sound funny, right, right, right. So how would you say the word for I? Nut. 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 With a T, yeah. okay. I so it's kind of close to Zonka, yeah. but just different a little bit. Uh, uh, in Zonka, uh, we say no. Right. So in Bumtap, uh, we say not. Yeah. yeah. So how would you say, I am fine? Not kajan na. Not kajan Kajan. na. Na. Okay, great. Uh, and what about the word for name? How do you say name? Uh, we say same. Uh, it's all it's same, I think. S similar to, same like a Zonka. Ming. Ming, okay, Ming. and how would you say what is your name? We Ming Shayo. We. What's that? We mean? We means uh, your. Your. Ming means a name. Right. Shayo means what is your name? Ah, uh, okay, great. Um, so let's not go to daily translation. <laughs> yeah, no, but just for people, so they're trying to break it down to compare yeah. it to another language. So if you, they can uh, compare uh, the, the ones that are similar and not similar, you know. So it seems like a. Mm. If I we mean shayo, if I do a direct translation, you name what? Right. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Um, how about the word for where? Ow. Okay. Ow. So how would you say uh, where is it? Ow nakke. Okay. But then uh, in Zongkai, ow means a thief. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> Don't get confused. In Bunta, <laughs> right. ow means where. In Zongkai, ow means thief. <laughs> okay, so where, so where, what's the word for it? Uh, like where is it? Where is it? Aunaki, ose means it means ose. Ose, okay. Tai or ose or either tai. So how, how do we say where are you going? 
with au gede. Okay, and that with with means you. And then au means where. And then gede means uh going. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. So um, how do you say it is here? What's the word for here? Uh, also no. Also no. Also no. Also no. Yeah. Also no. So, means also no. so say it is here. It is here. Also no not the. Ah, say so the the T the T uh, is here. Yeah. Ja also no not the. T means ja. Ja. ja means ja. Yeah. Interesting. Ja, it's a uh, same like a Almost like um, <coughs> most of the words are uh, it's same similar. Uh, Even for the grandparents, or uh, would they have more different words? A different word. Yeah, Can yeah. Because uh, as we said, like a lot of the uh, languages tend to start to to melt into each other. Yes. So it seems like the younger generations are using more I'm dzoka. Not, uh, I'm not sure how far it is true, but then uh, I once I heard like uh, dzoka was actually like uh, composed by bumtabs. Really? That's interesting. Taught by shashops, learned by nalops. Interesting. <laughs> And so there's we, a lot usually, of, yeah. usually when we uh, I teach the, mm. the, the friends from Western people like they speak Nalogs, right? Uh, mm. It's same like a Zonka, similar to Zonka. Similar, yeah, dialect maybe. Only except for a few uh, pronunciations and words and then and, and, like, so I always teach them like Zonka is composed by us, taught by Shashwabs and learned by you Nalogs. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Get, so they get them all rather. Yeah, it, it like uh, I'm not sure. It, maybe it, it's just a scene. Like maybe they they have started like huh. to tease. Well, I also heard that, you know, that. Anyway, we shouldn't get off track. But that we'll, we'll talk about Zonka later. Yeah. yeah sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, with a written language coming later than yeah. I ever imagined. Uh, okay. So we have it is here. So how? Do, what is the word for eat? It means ose. Okay. Ose, so uh, if you want to say someone eat eat. Oh, you mean eat, right? Eat. Z. 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 Okay, so if you want to tell someone, please eat. Uh, please eat means. Uh, Go ahead, eat. You, eat. you, you want me to uh, Zaza. speak it, yeah. speak it in. Uh, in Bumpa. Of, we can, uh, like, switch the formal and informal. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So what would informal so be, like within informal, your family? Z. Z. Okay, su. and then if you're talking to a, a Dasho uh, or somebody. Z. Z. Ah, you should put it. It's a formal. Formal, Z. Kind of the la is like a la in la, yeah. in Zonka. Ah, just yes. put it at the it end to make it. Seems like a la, yes. Makes it um, more honorific. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> how do you say have you eaten? Uh, like shego susia. Okay. Shego means uh, food and meal. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> uh, have you eaten? Uh, we say shego susia. Ah, cool. So that brings us to full. How do you say full? Ah, uh, tem tem. Tem tem. Tem tem. Oh, so, that's different. Uh, a full means tem tem, but then if, if I talk about like I have food, I don't know, jump tem tem. Run more tem tem. So, so how, we use, what are those extra words you added on there? Like uh, I am full? Uh, or? I use like, joma uh, tem tem, my stomach is full. Stomach is what? What is stomach? Tem, joma. Uh, joma is stomach. Yeah. Ah, okay. Like pit bugyo or something. Yeah. Tem tem means full. Tem tem. Ah, okay, cool. Um, so, what is the word for like what? Like, what are you doing? What means asha. Asha. So, how do you say what are you doing? Sha, not only asha. Sha. Sha. What? Okay. Sha. So, how do you so, say the sense what are you doing? With uh, shabute. Because, like, uh, when we speak, uh, we <coughs> always use you in the first. With. With uh -huh. our gather. Oh. With shabute. With Aunaki means uh, what are you doing? We say like uh, with Shabute. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, we say with Aubede. So okay. So how do you say what is it? Like if I had a thing here, what is it? Uh, Ose Shayo. Ah, okay. That sounds different. Um, what is? How do you say how many? Akpade. Okay. So how, what's the word for people? People. Uh, me. Me, okay, no, same as Zonka. So then, how do you say how many people? Me, Akpade. Oh, cool. Um, so, how do you say how old are you? With Ning Akpade. With means you. Mm -hmm. Ning means uh, year. Akpade. Akpade, uh, it means like how old are you? Mm. Akpade, how? Cool, okay. 
So let's count to ten slowly so the people okay. out there can learn how to count with us. So Tick Zong Sum Le Yama Grok Ni Ja Dogo Che. Perfect. I, I'll give you a perfect score. <laughs> I did you. not know what those were for, but some of them are actually close. I think, so. I think excellent, excellent uh, teaching boot up, I think. I think so. I think so. And there's not a lot of people doing it. You could do a series, you know, on, on yeah, teaching. Because nobody thought of it. And then on of all, like, uh, even like, uh, we have a uh, few friends and then they wanted to uh, learn. We did some work, but then uh, because they, they don't use it frequently, they... Well, if you put something up on YouTube, they, they can that. review it. Eh? Yeah, just an idea. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I always like to uh, motivate and inspire people, you know, with whatever I put on, on, on YouTube, and, you know, sometimes it works, so. Um, so, what is the word for good? Like, it is good. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so, how would you say, it is good, as a whole sentence? Uh, okay. And then how would you say not good? Is there a word for not good or do you just negate good? Kajan uh, muta. We just add muta at the end. Muta. Kajan uh, muta. Seems like a lot of the Himalayan languages have an, an M sort of word to stick in <laughs> yeah. for not. Um, so what about cold? And now cold is interesting because is it the same for my tea is cold and today it's cold and I am cold or is it different words for uh, different, different colds? Different. Okay, different. so what about the tea uh, is cold? If tea is cold, ja uh, ngapa. Ngapa. Or either water, we say like cold water, water we use kwe. Mm. So cold, nagpa. Kwe nagpa. Or tea is cold, ja nagpa. And what's the word for water? Uh, kwe. Kwe, that's yeah. water, okay. Um, so then what about uh, the air? Like uh, today is cold. So today is a cold weather day. means kita. Okay. We say, yu, kita. Yeah. Yeah. What, is, what is the word for today? Like if I want to say today is cold. Dasum. Dasum. So say the whole sentence, today is cold. Yeah, yeah, that, that really makes it go. And in Bhutan, I'm sure they have like many cold days because it's pretty high altitude. Always cold. Yeah, and then how do you say I am cold? Kita. Ah, okay. Kita is cold for person. Okay, and then opposite of that, hot. Hot tea? My tea is hot or something. Tea is hot. Tanba. Tanba. Yeah, uh, ja uh, tanba, hot okay. tea, okay. Uh, hot water, kwe tanba. <coughs> and then today it is hot outside. Uh, I'll say, tai da sengbun nam semi nam si shuk. I'm forgetting now because like I'm staying in Thimpu. And oh, the I'm Zonka speakers, <laughs> right. Always speaking Zonka. Yeah, think what your grandparents Tapa would chita. say. What would grandma say? Uh, we say, uh, there's a hot sun, uh, we say, ni shuk not Ah, okay, okay. Uh, or either we say the sugun am sami krot. 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 Heat. That means heat. Yeah. Yeah. So the fire would be krot. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Wood stove or something. Yeah. Krot. We say krot means uh, heat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or uh, if we say hot, uh, it, it's somewhat like different. We don't use the uh, same word. Hmm. So we say hot weather, hot water. And then if I am hot, uh, if I'm just I like, ah, oh, so hot. How so do you say? If I say, Krut. Krut, that's so, I am also. Which is not probably here. Hot, yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> hot uh, and then I'm all sweating. Oh! Yeah, Tatpa chitta means. Sweating. Yeah, sweating. How do you say sweating? Tatpa. Tatpa. That's not so hard. Sweat. When you break it down, when there's a bunch of things, it's not yeah. as hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then uh, words for mother and father? Uh, we say, it's similar like a Hindu, like uh, for mother we say Amma, mm -hmm. and then for father we say Appa. And now, brother yeah, and yeah. sister, do you have higher and lower uh, for uh, older brother or older so sister? Older brother we say Ajo, okay. younger brother we uh, say like No. Oh, okay. No. 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 <laughs> no. He's but my No. Not that No. <laughs> yeah. No means uh, younger brother. And then like uh, for <coughs> elder sister, uh, uh, we we call them like uh, Ashe. Okay. Ashe. And then uh, younger sister. Younger uh, younger sister Nomit. Ah, okay. Yeah. So similar Nomit. in the same ballpark as, yes, as Zonka, Nomit, but different. Nomit, yeah. Nomit, Nomit, yeah. Okay. Um, and then that brings us to closings. So how would someone, uh, you know, 
back in the days, especially grandma, you know, something, I know in Zonka or in English, a lot of times people will use here in Timpu, they'll be like, see you later. But how would someone uh, back in Boomtong say uh, goodbye typically? Would they say see you later, good going, good staying? So if he say see you later, yeah, yeah, it's they may don't get. No, that's long. How does that break down? Yeah, 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 yeah means uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Demi, uh, demi means later. Okay. Dongi means late. I will see you later. See oh. you later. So see you next time means yeah. Yamba ni dongi. Yamba means from tomorrow onwards. Yamba. Yamba ni naba le. Naba le chige. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that would be how people. They don't really have a goodbye per se. Uh, we it's weird. A lot of languages yeah, really yeah. don't. <coughs> Uh, we say like yeah yeah, jugu do. See you next time means jugu. Jugu. Shule chige same like uh, shule chige in Zonka. Right, right. Jugu dom. Jugu dom and dom yeah. is. Dom means meet. Yeah. Meet, yes. meeting again. Yeah. So we meet again. Okay, well great. So I guess that that wraps it up. Oh, um, right. Again, uh, thank you for joining us on the spoken word series. I am Tara Linhart here in Tibu Bhutan, and I'm joined by. Tsiling Tokye. Yay. Um top Tokye. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, uh, they call us Dre Bumta, which means like, uh, because like Bumta was really like a land of demons and demons. Oh, really? In the uh, olden days. So like the, the Guru Padma Sambo, Guru Rinpoche, yeah. so he first visited Bumta. So it was and he tamed the uh, demons and yeah, things? We, we have many like uh, historic sites. Like ah, research. and then you also said that different valleys in the Bumtang region speak slightly differently too, right? Yes, uh, Bumtang it's, uh, it is uh, divided into four different valleys, uh, Chumme, Chokor, Ura, Tang. Huh. And then uh, usually uh, the people from Ura Valley, they use O at the end of every sentence. Huh. <laughs> o is a similar like a bar Kind of like La, you just stick bar it on the end of any bar sentence? No, it's uh, like, uh, I'm not sure why you, we have a different opinion. Is that where you're from? No. I'm Which from one are you from? Chipur, the okay. main, uh, the, the and there's main, main probably city. everyone, everyone, I think in any place you go knows that we, wherever we are, speak normally, everyone mm. else speaks funny, right? Yeah. So probably your valley is like, well, we speak perfectly normal. Though, no, we, we don't claim that we speak no. perfectly because like, uh, <coughs> so every valley they have a different, and then like, uh, even like... But you can valley. understand each other? Yes, we Easily. Do. It's not like where you're like, what? I mean, my, I'm from the United States and my husband's from Australia. 99.5% of the time we understand each other and every now and then we get one of those words where it's like, what? <laughs> what? Only for a few words. A few words here and there. Uh, we cannot, uh, we have to ask them. Mm, so probably just inflections and yes, emphasis and yeah. accents. You know, like, uh, uh, usually uh, in English, uh, we say, oh my God, right? And then in Bumtang, we don't say, oh my god, we say, Yanama. Not only in Yanama. Bumtang, they say that all over Bhutan, uh, right? Yeah, not only in like uh, Bumtang, also every uh, Bhutanese, they say, Yalama. Yalama. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that. Again, thank you for joining us on the Spoken Word series. Uh, again, mm -hmm. I'm Tara Linhart. Topge, Bumtang Topge, uh, or either Tsing Topge, in short, Titi. Titi. Yeah. Ah, okay, great. Thank you so much and see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye bye.